Let's talk about atmosphere. Well, the gaseous envelope around the earth is called atmosphere. Actually, the at earth's atmosphere extends to a height of about 400 km from the surface of earth. So, if this is the surface of earth, the atmosphere goes up to around 400 km. Well, mainly the atmosphere contains nitrogen that is around 78 percent and oxygen that is around 21 percent. So the total makes 99 percent. Rest of the gases are 1 percent which mainly include carbon dioxide, neon, water vapor, dust particles etc. Now let's talk about atmospheric pressure. So basically atmospheric pressure is the pressure exerted by atmosphere. So obviously atmospheric pressure is the weight of air. So this is the air and this is the weight of air over 1 meter square surface of the earth. Because we know the definition P is equal to F over A. So basically what we know that the density is not constant, the density keep decreasing as we go high. So we have equation P is equal to H rho G and this equation is applicable when the rho is constant but the density that is rho is changing with the height or this formula is not applicable. So what do we have? We have uh, equipment called barometer which is used to uh, measure the atmospheric pressure. Now the atmospheric pressure is given as 1.013 into 10 raised to the power 5 Newton per meter square or it is also called as Pascal. Now let's talk about mercury barometer. Well, a mercury barometer is an instrument which is used to measure atmospheric pressure. So it contains a very long tube about 1 meter. Let me just mark here. This is the tube and this tube is about 1 meter. And it is filled with mercury and then inverted into a trough of mercury. This is the mercury. All right. It is seen that the mercury level in the tube falls till the height h becomes nearly 76 centimeter. So the mercury level is going to fall. Suppose it is filled fully, then it is going to fall and it comes to a height of 76 centimeter. So we can say that the atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter of mercury. We take height h as 76 centimeter or 0 0.76 and at normal temperature we take the density of mercury as 13.6 that is 13.6 into 10 raised to the power 5 kg per cubic meter. Let's find the standard atmospheric pressure at the surface of earth at the surface of earth. So at the surface of earth we will be using the formula pressure is equal to h rho g and h we have taken as 0 0.76 into rho we will let's take 13.6 into 10 raised to the power 5 and g let's take 9.8. So let's compute and what we find is this is 1.01 into 10 raised to the power 5 Newton per meter square or we can say that is Pascal. That is the atmospheric pressure. To understand these two points that the atmospheric pressure is directly proportional to the height h. P is equal to h rho g. Rho is constant, g is also constant for that particular area. So P is directly proportional to the height h. Now let's discuss about height of atmosphere. 
Well, we know it very well. The density of air decreases with the height. So suppose this is the surface of earth. The density is going to decrease. So assuming that uh, this is constant, which is just the assumption, the density of air is 1.293 into kg per cubic meter. Now we have this P is equal to H rho G. So H rho G is equal to the atmospheric pressure, which is 1.01 .01 into 10 raised to the power 5. So the value of H will be 1.01 .01 into 10 raised to the power 5 divided by rho which is 1.293 into g which is 9.8 now if we solve we get roughly around 8000 meter that is 8 kilometer so the mainly the atmosphere is around 8 kilometer and that is the uh, troposphere and after that actually it is extends up to 400 kilometer but here the atmosphere is very much diluted most of the concentration of the atmosphere is here up to 8 kilometer we should also note that the unit of uh, atmosphere we can call it as torsili 1 torsili is equal to 1 mm of hg and 1 bar is equal to 10 raised to the power 5 pascal So let's talk about manometer. Well, a manometer is a device that is used to measure the pressure of a gas. So there are various uh, variations in the design. So basically it is a U-shaped tube partly filled with liquid, which is actually mercury. Often it is mercury. And uh, one limb of the manometer is open to the atmosphere and the other is connected to a chamber. This is the gas chamber okay so when the tube is open on both the end then that time air pushes down on each column and there will be equal pressure and the liquid level will be equal in both the arms however when one of the tube is connected to the chamber and this is the chamber one of the end is connected to the chamber see all right so now the level will be at a different level in both the arms so the pressure at point d because the point d is open to atmosphere the pressure at point d is going to be the atmospheric pressure pa now since there is a height of uh, mercury h so the pressure at point b is going to be Pb is going to be H rho Hg, where rho is the density of uh, mercury. Right. As per the Pascal's law, the pressure at P will be equal to the pressure at A. The pressure at point A is the same as the pressure at point P, since they are at the same level. Now, according to Pascal's principle, pressure at A is also same as pressure at C. So, pressure at C can be written as P is equal to P A that is atmosphere plus H rho G. Why? Because here it is P A and we add this much that is H rho G. Alright. So the total pressure P is called absolute pressure. Let me just use with the different color that is called absolute pressure. And the difference that is P minus P A is called gauge pressure, that is gauge pressure. Okay, so actually the manometer measures the gauge pressure, that is what it measures. All right, now let's have this question so that we have better clarity. So here in this question, calculate the absolute pressure gauge pressure of the gas in the bulb as shown and here we are having this gas chamber we are having this height and here the height is given which is 0 0.12 meter okay this is the height and this is open to atmosphere and here the uh, gas is filled in this chamber so let's talk about pressure at a 
pressure at A is going to be the atmospheric pressure and that is given as 1.01 into 10 raised to the power 5 Pascal. Right? Now let's talk about pressure B. Pressure at B is going to be pressure at A plus H rho and G. So PA is 1.01 into 10 raised to the power 5 plus h h the height is given which is 0 0.12 rho is the mercury and the value of mercury uh, the density of mercury actually is uh, uh, 13.6 into 10 raised to the power 3 kg per cubic meter and the value of g we take 9.8 meter per second square so this is 1.01 .01 into 10 raised to the power 5 and we try to keep it in 10 raised to the power 5. So 0 0.12 into 13.6 into 9.8 that is 10 raised to the power 3. So let's multiply. I think I have to use the calculator because in exam calculator is allowed that makes sense. Let's have the help of calculator 0 0.12 into 13.6 into 9.8. So what do we get? We get 15.99. Now 15.99 we uh, put the decimal or that is we can say 16. 16 roughly we can say this is 16 okay now the 16 we can write like this 0 0.16 into 10 raised to the power 3 and 2 so now we have 1.01 .01 into 10 raised to the power 5 plus 0 0.16 into 10 raised to the power 5 that makes our life easy and the end result will be 1.1 7 into 10 raised to the power 5 Pascal. So that is the pressure at B. Okay, since C is at the same level as B, so pressure at B, this is also pressure at C. Alright, so what is going to be the gauge pressure? So gauge pressure or gauge pressure, whatever you would like to call it. Pg will be P minus Pa. All right, and that is actually nothing but H rho and G. So H is uh, actually that is uh, 0 0.16. This is the value 0 0.16 into 10 raised to the power 5 Pascal. That is the gauge pressure, and if we talk about absolute pressure so that is 1.17 into 10 raised to the power 5 